Hey what's up guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 17 news video and as you can probably read from the title, it is Pro Clubs related. It is something I would have never never thought EA would actually change again because Pro Clubs, it felt that EA sort of abandoned it like a couple years ago, especially since they removed it from the old, uh, old gen consoles the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but uh, finally, finally they've changed something. And as you probably can see from my reaction, I am so hyped about Pro Clubs because to me, it is probably one of the best game modes. I, I really love Ultimate Team, but Pro Clubs, like, it is just a tiny bit away from like being my favorite game mode. And they've actually done something big this year for FIFA 17, so it could potentially be my favorite game mode in FIFA 17, I'm not too sure, but there's something really, really big that I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, kind of covering in this video. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, would we'll be a Appreciate it and uh, let me know if you're excited for Pro Cups as well in FIFA 17. So we're gonna go straight into it. Pro Cups in FIFA 17 on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Again, no all gen, unfortunately. So for the people that are still playing on Xbox 360 and PS3, um, yeah, there won't be Pro Cups in FIFA 17 for you guys. But um, yeah, those consoles uh, introduced a brand new player growth system for Pro Clubs, which is amazing. Uh, based upon fan feedback to help deliver a comprehensive new way to develop your player. I mean, this is just something already amazing because they've actually listened to people that are like really really big into pro clubs i know a couple of fifa players as well that are like really really big into pro clubs it's pretty much the only game mode that they play so i guess they've listened to those guys in addition we've listened to your feedback and delivered customizable custom kits and crests which is just insane which brings a new level of personalization to your pro club season i mean it is something that a lot of people always wanted in pro clubs and they seem to finally have done it for fifa 17 so again I'm really, really excited. Uh, we're gonna start off with player growth. I'm gonna try to like put in screenshots and stuff for this video for you guys to check out. Uh, player growth has completely changed in FIFA 17. The new system is based upon your match rating to really focus on teamwork and cooperation. Authentically recreating real world football where teamwork is the most important aspect. Even though I'm a skiller, I like to go on skillers and stuff when I'm playing pro clubs. I uh, I really, really like this thing. I mean, you can see it in the background as well with the screenshot, like the thing they've done, like they've just completely changed the menus, which is a big thing already. And again, <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Uh, they moved to match rating. After you've completed a match, you will receive a match rating, which was also in the previous, uh, previous years of pro clubs. Uh, depending on which position you play, certain aspects of your play will level up at different speeds. For example, a striker will grow more shooting quickly than defending, which is cool to see as well. Chart your progress and see how your player has developed. You will be able to track how each of the individual attributes are growing at the end of every match based upon your match ratings. That's really, really cool. Again, you can see it in the background as well. I'll put up a screenshot. Like, the whole menu is just completely changed and I really, really like it actually. Like, usually it was just more similar to when you were like playing a normal game of FIFA, like when it comes to the menus, but like, it's way more in depth and that is just just way better. I mean, they should have done this like so many years ago, but I'm still happy that I've actually put it in FIFA 17. Uh, then we move to traits. In addition, you will have an option to select from a wider variety of traits to give a new layer of depth to your player growth. Uh, spend skill points that are earned in game to equip specific traits to your physical, defending, dribbling, passing, shooting, pace, or goalkeeping. Uh, maybe you want to have a giant throw trait or more pace. It's up to you to customize your player. Each trait comes with a different skill point cost, which are earned by playing league or cup matches. So think why Wisely before selecting. Again, I really really like things the way they're going. Uh, you can see again a new screenshot in the background. It looks really really awesome. And again, I just like the way they've actually just completely redesigned everything. Uh, you can see I think seven different uh, menus. You got physical as I mentioned, defending, dribbling, passing, shooting, pace, and goalkeeping. Goalkeeping is the one I'm probably not going to be using, but uh, you can see the shooting one. You can see special traits for every single like uh, ability that you kind of want to like uh, bump up. You can see on the on the right side as well, uh, like finishing is 83, free kick accuracy 58. I love it, man. Like the things they've done so far in FIFA 17 for Pro Clubs anyway, is just absolutely amazing. Like I, I did not know about this stuff before, even though I played the game already, no clue about the whole Pro Clubs thing. And then we're gonna move to the final thing, which again, I'm so, so excited for. Customization, they've finally done like proper customization in Pro Clubs. That means kits, badges and stuff, you're all able to make yourself, which is really, really cool. Um, the one thing, that I'm kind of like still disappointed at is that you're not able to do this like properly on the web app uh, or at least some sort of a web app, maybe like a Pro Clubs web or something because um, I think back in the day on maybe FIFA 11 or something, you were able to make your own club, but uh, it was not for Pro Clubs, if you know what I mean. Like it was just for 
offline play, I think. You were able to make like your own team, like own players, own kit, own badge. It looks like they've pretty much done this now for pro clubs. Um, I think they also took that out in a, in a few FIFAs back, but uh, they've decided to put it back in pro clubs, which is cool. But again, I would have liked to like do this on the web app because then you're like able to import images, for example, uh, your own YouTube logo, like such the one as I have right now for my channel or even a sponsor or anything else. I still like the way things are going though, because it's something new for FIFA 17. This is also just something a lot of people wanted. And again, I just can't wait to uh, to get things going. Uh, you can see two different uh, two different screenshots in the background. One is for the kit. I'm not too sure how many kits there are, but you can change uh, the colors quite a bit, which looks sweet. And when it comes to the badges, again, I'm not too sure how many there are. They don't look that amazing to me. I wish, again, that I was like able to, to import something from, uh, from my own, but at least it's a start. Maybe for FIFA 18, I don't know, they, they let you like import stuff via the web app or something. I'm not too sure. But anyway, really looking forward to it. Um, I still wonder though if we're able to choose from like uh, normal teams such as myself, PSV or something or Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United. I don't know. Or if we're like able to just use these these badges and the kits and stuff. I'm still wondering about that because I can't really read anything uh, about that actually. But um, yeah, if you also want to have a look at this article, then uh, there will be a link in the description down below because it is just basically an article that EA put up on their website. So uh, feel free to check it out. Um, also, let me know in the comments down below what you think of these changes. Do you dislike them? Do you think like, I don't care. I only play career mode, ultimate team. Or do you think like, you know what? I'm going to try Pro Clubs again. That is definitely the thing I'm on right now because this year I haven't really been playing it much because FIFA 16 to me wasn't the greatest game they actually put out uh, in my opinion. 15 to me anyway was way more uh, enjoyable to play but that, uh, that is something that happens uh, every now and then. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, whole new thing for Pro Clubs and um, if you're looking forward to it as well. Anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.